Hey guys, this is Fierce, and today I'm going to talk about Chen the Holy Knight. Chen is probably one of the most broken heroes in the game if played correctly. So how do you play Chen correctly? Let's begin by looking at your hotkeys. I have the number 1 set to my hero and my hero only so I don't accidentally bind creeps to the number. I have the number 2 set to my best creep. The best creep is the troll and the second best creep is the centaur. My favorite group of creeps to get is 1 troll and 2 centaurs. I have the number 3 set to my hero and all of my creeps, so if I'm moving around the map I press 3 and right click. Probably the most important hotkey is the select all other units hotkey. I use the letter Z but you can use whatever you want. This hotkey is important because you can move all your creeps around at the same time without accidentally killing your hero. You can use the control group tab hotkey too if you want which lets you cycle through your units. It's especially useful when you play Meepo. In Dota 1 I had it set to tab. But in Dota 2, I use tab to show me the scoreboard, so I don't use it. If you're playing a serious game, there is only one acceptable skill build. Why is there only one acceptable skill build? Because if you want penitence over test of faith, you can't do this. For your starting items, you want to go some sort of combination of these items, with courier and observer wards being the most important. As soon as you get enough money, you should buy a flying courier. Your first major purchase of the game should be Arcane Boots, followed by a Mechanism or Pipe of Insight. Make sure you coordinate with your teammates on buying these items so you don't double up on either of them. Throughout the entire game, you should be buying and placing wards as well as utilizing the Smoke of the Sea. Here are some good additional items you might decide to go, just use some good judgment. I do prefer Refresher Orb over Agonims because if you go Agonims, you're assuming that you and your team will live through the first 30 seconds of the cooldown to get a second hand of God off. Most of the time you won't need a Ring of Basilius as someone on your team is already getting a Ring of Aquila or Vladimir's. Here's how I usually start the game. I always start at the strong camp closest to the weak camp. This is so I can double stack the weak camp and then kill it to get level 2. Heroes that I really hate playing against are Doom, Nakes, and Clinks because they can just instantly kill your creeps. Then there's Enchantress who can steal your creeps. Of course there's Invoker who can burn all your creeps mana. AA who can stop you from healing. Darkseer doesn't hard counter Chen, but I just really hate Vacuum. It's worth noting that Frostbite lasts for fucking forever on your creeps. And of course there's Hand of Midas. God damn. It doesn't really matter if you get bad creeps early in the game because at 2 minutes into the game these satyrs deal a lot of damage. Chen, why do you hate me? Because fuck you, that's why. So let's say you actually get a good creep. Go kill some heroes and then push the lane. 2Q, right click. 1W, left click, right click. 3, right click. 1, right click. 2, right click, 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 Q. And then you push the tower. Huh, it took 11 minutes to take this tower. Let's try that again. 3, right click, 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 click. 1A, left click. 2Q left click, 1W left click, and then you push the tower, 6 minutes easy, and then you move around and you take another tower, and then you take more towers, you get the point. Let's go over the creep micro some more as it is the hardest part about Chen, my only advice to you is to practice. Ok so here we go, I lead off with 3 right click to get into better position, and then I press 1 right click enemy hero. 2Q left click enemy hero, and then I individually click my centaurs to stomp. Let me show you what I mean by individually clicking. Rape train, rape train! Rape train! Rape train! Rape train, bitch! Oh whoa, I don't know what came over me there, but that was recorded live and I was kind of getting into the moment. Just to make it clear, I don't condone rape in any shape or form. Sometimes you're gonna find yourself dying a lot. In these cases, it's best to hide somewhere as you need to stay alive to get that hand of God off. Let me share a few hints. I take whatever creeps I can get, but I will usually send the bad creeps to die to Roshan or to Suicide Tower. This is so I can clear the bad creeps and hope for a good spawn. If I get 3 bad creeps, I will try especially hard to push, and then just suicide them on the tower instead of ganking. Don't forget that you can cast Holy Persuasion on Necromonicon Warriors as well as Beastmaster Summons, Invoker's Forward Spirits, Furion's Treants, Broodmother's Spiderlings, and Lycan's Wolves. So if you don't have any creeps, stay out of the team fight and wait to pick off any stragglers. It's not your job to tank, it's not your job to dish out the deeps, 
It's your job to support, and you can't do it when you're dead. I know I forget to do this sometimes, but don't forget to use your holy persuasion to send your allies back home. Once you become level 7, you can solo Roshan with a few combinations of creeps. I would suggest the Frost Ogre, an Alpha Wolf, and the Centaur. The longer into the game it is, the more likely it will become that you will need to use Hand of God. Make sure you either counter ward or use a Smoke of Deceit before attempting Roshan. So let's go over a few more situations before I end the video. Make sure you stay on the edge of the team fight so you can get that Hand of God off. Remember that the Troll Warlord's net can go through magic immunity. I mistakenly blow all of my nets on the Riki instead of saving one to interrupt Black Hole. I also use Haki 3 instead of Haki Z and I'll walk into the black hole and die. Well now that my hero is dead, I only use Haki Z and 2 to move my creeps around. Even if you die, as long as you have creeps, you should keep busy. You should be able to use all your spells twice on each neutral creep. Can you see how annoying my creeps are? This is why centaurs and trolls are the best creeps. In these next clips, think about what I did right or wrong. Think about which hotkeys you should be pressing. Think about the creep micro you should be doing. And as always, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Rape train, rape train! Rape train! Rape train! Rape train, bitch!